I was in my last video I had mentioned that Charlie Kirk's wife was involved in the this um, constitution and family seminar they had with congressional staffers no it, it was a different Kirk I guess I just assumed it was his wife there's a bunch of Kirks involved in this I don't know if there's a relation this was Elizabeth Kirk um, that's not his wife so um, I wanted to uh, make sure I said that you know uh, what I I, I uh, this isn't in regards so much to project 2025 but it's in in regards to the whole like ev evangelical community and Christian community what I I really found disturbing is they put so much energy towards you know um, be, wanting you know to end abortion from your Glenn Beck's to the far right everybody okay but never any energy towards the children that don't have any homes like if they put half of the energy they did towards wanting to just go at the left all the time about abortion and I'm not I'm not saying I'm for abortion I'm not I'm not saying that I'm against it in all cases I don't think it should be at the I it should have never been at the federal level it should be a state issue but that said it's it's like it, it's rather disturbing because it's like okay so you care so much about life but you don't seem to give a shit about it after the life is born, huh? I would say that to all those evangelicals that carry on. You know what? Probably a lot of the right people would see me as opposite, you know, like that I'm just an enemy. Trump probably would see me as an enemy even, you know, because a lot of this stuff I, I just, I disagree, I just don't agree with. Um, I, I, I think that there's so many children that don't have homes and they're in such bad situations um, that are unsafe because they're under state guardianship. And I think that God would bless us more, not that nobody should care about abortion, but if, if the children that were alive that need help were being helped. Yeah, instead of, you know, protesting outside abortion clinics, maybe, um, you know, or praying outside of abortion clinics, you could, you know, like take some action and, you know, do something to help the children that don't have any homes because they're not in good situations. Maybe you could go pray outside the Department of Children and Family Services. Seriously. But nobody ever wants to focus on that. It's just this ongoing theme that, you know, they're going to fight with the left about abortion, about ab abortion. What We want full abortion up to the ninth month on the left. The far right, it wants to, you're gonna we're gonna get pray outside the abortion clinic. Yeah, what is, it's like do something that can help the ones that are alive. And I'm not saying that it's wrong to but but it it's like why do you only care about the life before it's born? Shouldn't you care about the life in general? Yeah, I don't ever see anybody caring about all the children that don't have um don't have parents and are in a bad state situation so uh, I don't know I just I I would imagine that if Jesus was around today that I, I think that he'd be scolding a lot of the people that are the huge abortion act anti not because they're anti-abortion but because why didn't you put any energy towards all the children that are alive you have all of these programs, all of these organizations, all of this, all to stop abortion, but none to help the children that are alive that could use your help. I don't know. That's just, I just think that God would be scolding a lot. Because you, you can't say that you're about life when you disregard all of those lives, and there's a lot of them that have been lost because um, we have, a corrupt and broken uh, Department of Children and Family Services. It's so, so cruel what, what happens to these children. So I, I just, I, that's just my personal feeling. It, it's like don't, don't carry on about how you care about life when you don't seem to care about it once they're born. You don't. Because um, if you did, then you'd be praying outside of DCFS departments and there would be more good people taking in these children. Um, there would be more people advocating and exposing that than exposing abortion clinics. I, I'm Again, I'm not trying to say that 
it's not noble to you know you're going and praying outside of abortion clinics but quite frankly what about the lives that 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 could really use your help right at this time or always could have so um i guess that's why i, I don't trust all of these organizations that want to direct the government and it's not like anybody's going to listen to me right you know you have to be somebody of somebody to you know get in that platform um to have a voice but i don't think people that truly um I don't think they want people that truly know God or understand God in maybe a different way you could say like maybe the regular everyday people know God they want the evangelicals and I not very impressed with the evangelicals I'm just saying <laughs> just not they're all the mega churches and um I I I'm not impressed with any of the religions though in general and you know they're all pompous and arrogant and full of themselves and think that their religion is right and it's really just Jesus just wanted us to know the his word and it wasn't supposed to be about all this hierarchy crap but um yeah but the all of them all of them you know like instead of all those mega evangelical churches turning you know building building or your your harvest churches that you know they they become mega churches. Why don't they put all that money they, they they did towards building their mega church, give it to the Department of Children and Family Services so those children, um, you know, do something like that instead of just turning your buildings into mega churches. I, I see that's I kind of stuff I just think about. I think that Jesus would be scolding the churches for that, like, you know, like, what about the lives that are here that you could have been doing something about? Instead, you all just, you know, follow the leader. You follow Project 2025. You know, let's make abortion the most important thing. Let's make family the most important thing. Yet all of you, you know, while you talk about God and Christian values and all, you know, and you talk about it like, as far as I'm concerned, you don't understand it, but you could care less about children in the department of children family systems because you know you don't hear about them the state won't report on it yeah so i i think it would it would be i i don't know i think that maybe god would be happy i'm just guessing that god might maybe be more blessings on america if um we stopped having hypocrites uh direct the country <laughs>